Yes, I hope you're having a good time right here on the Isaac Youth the Baddest Saturday morning show. And man, I'm so excited. I don't even know if it's excitement, but I feel excited <laughs> because Fully Focus is in the building and she has brought she he has brought sorry a beautiful artist by the name Lumi. And I'm sure you have know you know her, you have had her songs countless times here on the East Circuit because DJ Neshke and I'm making sure he has played them, right? So yeah, um, he has an album, his first album, he'll be talking about it. He has featured the beautiful artist Lumi and yes, you know, at a start, I don't want to talk about it too much. Let's just jump straight into the interview, fully focus. Welcome to the show. Thank you, thank you, thank you for having me. Yes, yeah. kindly tell people who you are. I know they know you. Maybe sure. they just know Fully Focus, but sure, they don't sure, know. Sure. Let's put a face to the name. Absolutely. My name is Fully Focus. I am a DJ, producer, promoter, all the above. Mm -hmm. Uh, from here, Nairobi, Kenya, I grew yes. up in Atlanta a little bit, uh -huh. but I've been spending time back and forth to uh -huh. help push uh, uh, not just uh, Kenyan music but African music on the uh, main stage abroad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, how is that going? It's been it's been a great journey. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, spent the last uh, decade and a half, mm -hmm. you know, helping you know push things out there and everything. Yeah. And mm -hmm. uh, so, the last four years, I've been back and forth in. Mm -hmm. In, in, in uh, Kenya, most mm -hmm. people in Nairobi, I think probably some, some people in Nairobi know mm -hmm. me because mm -hmm. I played in uh, several places yeah. and I have several events uh, that I do mm -hmm. uh, called Passport Experience. A shout out to everybody who's mm -hmm. been coming for those. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, yeah, so thank you so much for that introduction. Lumi, can you kindly introduce yourself? Okay, my mm -hmm. name is Lumi. Mm -hmm. uh, born and raised in Limuru, actually. Oh, wow. So I'm yes. a singer songwriter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a singer songwriter uh -huh. and currently I'm signing. Uh, PMG, Passport mm -hmm. Music Group. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so welcome to the show. Thank, Thank you so you. much. So um, before we um, talk about the songs that you have done together, mm -hmm. I have mentioned that you are promoting your debut album yes. currently, African Ambassador. Yes. So tell us a bit about that. And you have featured quite a number of amazing artists from around the world. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, around Africa. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. you know, obviously with the growth and explosion of African music mm -hmm. outside of Africa, mm -hmm. uh, you know, there was one or two countries that are getting all the attention, yes. right? Mm -hmm. And I think the world needs to see that there's so much more talent mm -hmm. across Africa. Mm -hmm. So I spent the last four years mm -hmm. uh, touring in Africa mm -hmm. to finding the artists who are already big in their countries, mm -hmm. but you know, need that extra push to go to the next level. Mm -hmm. So I have artists from about 10, 11 different countries. Mm -hmm. So of course we have BN yes. representing Kenya, uh -huh. Nyashinsky uh -huh. representing Kenya, mm -hmm. Fit for Micah, Uganda, mm -hmm. Vanessa M. Day, Tanzania, mm -hmm. AY Tanzania, mm -hmm. Davis D from Rwanda. Mm -hmm. You have uh, Yalevis from Congo, mm -hmm. Mignola from Nigeria, mm -hmm. Shoma Josie from South Africa. Um, um, who else am I forgetting? Who else again? Yeah, Slap D, uh, yeah, that's just of course from uh -huh. Kenya. Uh -huh. Slap D representing Zambia. This artist called George from Cape Verde, uh -huh. and of course, Lumi. Yes, yes, okay. Yes. So, um, let's talk about the songs that you have done with Lumi because I mean, they are among the first songs that we have is. Um, th that you have done videos too. Mm -hmm. Why? Why did you decide to work with Lumi, and why did you sign her under PMG? Yeah. So, but you know, the the way we met is three years ago. I held a, a music, mm -hmm. TV, and film conference mm -hmm. okay. in Nairobi. Just I brought hold that thought. Sure. I think I should have asked her first. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> About how you came to meet you know, fully focused yes. and okay, okay, okay. How how that is working for you? Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, mm -hmm. I met fully focused through the conference. That mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so I saw this advertisement mm -hmm. for this conference, mm -hmm. it was a music conference, I'm like, wow, okay, I'm really mm -hmm. interested in this. Mm -hmm. So that was around the time when I was really new in the industry yeah. and I was trying to, you know, just get up, get my footing. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to network as much as possible as mm -hmm. well. So I attended the event and I carried a flash disc with my music. Okay. I wasn't too familiar with Fully Focus, uh -huh. but I knew that he had made the conference happen. It was, it was, it was, it was really it was an incredible conference. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I, I think this is someone I should talk to. Mm -hmm. So after the conference, I went and talked to him. I was like, hey, this is my music. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you think. Mm -hmm. And then now later on, that's when he reached out. He was mm -hmm. like, oh, I really like your music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's when we started working together. Mm -hmm. He signed mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. what time did you get signed? Mm -hmm. This was back in 2019? 2019. Mm -hmm. 2019. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. 2019. Yeah. yeah. Just before um, the COVID season, before right? COVID, and yeah. um, you did quite a lot during that COVID season with promoting Kenyan music. Mm -hmm. So, Lumi, mm -hmm. um, 
coming to the signing, you know, you were signed under PMG in 2019. Yes. Uh, so what have you been able to achieve under PMG? Under PMG. <laughs> yeah. So uh, mm -hmm. when I, before I was signed under mm -hmm. PMG, I mm -hmm. was doing, my sound was quite different. Uh -huh. But when Focus reached out, he was like, okay, I would mm -hmm. like you to try mm -hmm. something, just something different. Mm -hmm. Just tweak your sound a bit. Mm -hmm. I think you'd sound nice. Mm -hmm. And I was quite reserved because, you know, me, I've grown up with rock, mm -hmm. rock music. Okay. So most of my songs were just in English. Yes. So he's like, oh, mm -hmm. can you, have you tried writing in Swahili? I'm mm -hmm. like, I don't know. I don't know if I will sound good. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know if I'll make it you sound sure. good. I was not sure. <laughs> uh -huh. But then he pushed me. He was like, oh, you should do this. Mm -hmm. So I tried and I was like, wow, mm -hmm. this is actually, yes, th I like this sound. This is my sound uh -huh. now. Uh -huh. Yeah. And now for the past couple of years, we've mm -hmm. just been writing, recording. Mm -hmm. We've done so many songs. We've recorded mm -hmm. so many songs with Saint B. Mm -hmm. And Right now we're just releasing, so yeah. it has just been mm -hmm. amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm. um, fully focused. What's your favorite thing um, working with Lumi? You know everything mm -hmm. she said, like even from the first day how she mm -hmm. presented herself. Mm -hmm. Right, there was a certain professional way she carried herself. Mm -hmm. There wasn't an entitlement. Mm -hmm. There wasn't a you know because some people approach you like you know you have to do it, yeah. and, and that's the wrong way to approach someone. Mm -hmm. It's you know she was she had already packaged herself very professionally mm -hmm. from her demo and everything she was polished, mm -hmm. you know, and and she was honest and saying, hey, this is where I am mm -hmm. and this is where I would like to be. Mm -hmm. And she had a clear vision mm -hmm. of you know, who she wanted to be and mm -hmm. how she wanted. So yes. I really admired that about her. Mm -hmm. And uh, amazing voice mm -hmm. and great, phenomenal songwriting, mm -hmm. which I think is the biggest key of mm -hmm. uh, music in general, making music in general. Mm -hmm. um, and also the, what I really enjoyed about, she's very coachable. Like mm -hmm. she said, mm -hmm. she, there's a certain sound she had, yeah. but I was like, look, we're in Africa. Mm -hmm. you know, and, and African <laughs> music is, is exploding everywhere. Yes. So we still have to have that African identity mm -hmm. and so it, it was a process mm -hmm. growing into as much as she was hesitant about it mm -hmm. she was flexible about it mm -hmm. and that allowed the working process to be mm -hmm. you know to be better she's very hard working yeah. like she said we've done you know a lot of mm -hmm. records that everybody's going to mm -hmm. be able to and hear we are waiting for that yes they're, co <laughs> they're coming you know uh -huh. so it's just the, this whole conversation about mm -hmm. you know having uh, uh, Kenyan artists mm -hmm. that are pushing the boundaries mm -hmm. and, and can make music that can appeal globally. Mm -hmm. I think she's a phenomenal artist. I mm -hmm. think she's going to be one of the biggest artists out of Kenya, East Africa, and everything. <laughs> yes. I claim it. Shanda Kola <laughs> Hasaka <laughs> <laughs> yes. So speaking about Kenyan music, you yes. know, you haven't been in, you, you, you come and go, come and go, and you're taking tours around the world. Yes. So what's people's take of Kenyan music out there? Because, you know, we, every time we are talking about Kenyan music, we are always told, you know, you like playing Ken Nigerian music. And mm -hmm. when our artists go to these other countries, they mm -hmm. are not as received as yeah. we receive. Um, For sure. Yes. So yeah. what's your take about that now that so you have been around? The absolutely. World? Um, so I think we do need to understand that there's there's always going to be two types of you know music. Mm -hmm. There's music that's made for the local mm -hmm. audience, mm -hmm. and then there's music that's made for. We can't make everything yeah. try to be global. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So and so because of that, uh, we have to remember the artists that we are, or the music that we are trying to make global mm -hmm. will be compared to. Mm -hmm the biggest artists, the, the Burner Boys, the Wiz Kids mm -hmm. and, and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And so we have to package it mm -hmm. in a way that it does that. Mm -hmm. I think the biggest thing is production. We have yeah. to understand production is the biggest thing because mm -hmm. as you know, the beat is what gets your attention first mm -hmm. and then you go into the melodies mm -hmm. and everything. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the beauty of it is there's so many references now that you can borrow different ideas from here and there and then uh, give it your own unique sound. And that's what like, you know, kind of we did with, uh, even with Dimension, with BN. Yeah. It was like, it's Afrobeat kind of but mm -hmm. still it has its own identity yeah. right yeah. and everything but you know like a, a huge hit. yes yes so you know <laughs> shout out to the end that was yeah. that was you know a, a you know a, a great situation and everything so mm -hmm. i feel like uh it's two things one we can package it better mm -hmm. but i will also say this mm -hmm. we need to move fast mm -hmm. You have to understand speed is very important mm -hmm. and the rate of which Kenyan artists mm -hmm. produce and release music mm -hmm. is too slow because mm -hmm. let's face it you're already we're already a far smaller uh, population like like we said the Nigerian yeah. and so they already have 50 artists who are putting out music mm -hmm. three four times here you mm -hmm. talk to an artist mm -hmm. somebody takes you two three months to you know send you one song mm -hmm. and after that song even if it's big mm -hmm you're not able to get something else out of it. So we have to work faster and harder to mm -hmm. understand mm -hmm. that, you you know, for every 10 songs you put out, one will be a major hit. Yeah. So the more you put out, mm -hmm. the more likely you are to yeah. get more. Yeah, so like 
be active. Be or, active. You know, you know sure be that you... take that initiative. Mm -hmm. You know, and everything, and, and be proactive. Mm -hmm. Right. Go out there, network, and everything. You see, like she said, mm -hmm. she came to a conference. It was actually Easter weekend, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So some people had, you know, uh, Easter took yeah, a holiday. Took a holiday. Listen, look at look at her situation. <laughs> but her coming out there and everything. <laughs> yes. You know that first song. You know he played earlier. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We actually were able to get it on uh, one of my major laser mixtapes. Mm -hmm. You know, so we hel it helps open an audience, oh, okay. whatever for her. So I think, I think the first time I heard that song, I. If it was not for the Swahili, mm. I would have thought that this is an international exactly. artist. Yes. Yeah, 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 exactly, because she <laughs> has actually that. played here a lot, by mm. the way. Yeah. Nice, yeah. nice, yeah. nice. Mm -hmm. So first of all, shout out to the DJ and you know, all the selectors <laughs> who've been yes. playing the music. Uh -huh. But yeah, so we have to you have to understand mm -hmm. It's, 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 it's just like right now where everybody's watching the World Cup. Mm -hmm. In order for you to be on that world stage, mm -hmm. you have to play on a world level. Yeah. So no matter how great you are, let's say, in, in, in Africa, mm -hmm. when you're there, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. Yeah. It's like you're on the world stage. Mm -hmm. That's the same thing with music we have to understand. Mm -hmm. No one cares mm -hmm. how you feel. Mm -hmm. No one cares. Oh, suji matri, ziku, kupanda matri, ski mazili potea, no one amgu. No one cares. Yeah. Make music, find a way to figure it out, mm -hmm. put in extra work, mm -hmm. work hard, work hard. Hustle, 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 hustle. Mm -hmm. And, you know, results will come. Yes, that's true. So, um, why did you pick, you know, the songs that you have done with her to be among the first songs that you do videos for? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, so, you know, we have to move with the times and what's appealing and, and you always have to, you know, that's part of uh, music marketing is, you know, where mm -hmm. things are and, and what's the sound. As you see, music, the sounds change so much every six months now. Music is changing so much and mm -hmm. you have to be in tune with it. Okay, this is what's this is what's happening. Yeah. So she gets to have a cheat code because mm -hmm. I'm a DJ who's uh -huh. in the scene <laughs> to know. Okay, yes. this is what it is, and this uh -huh. is you know that what it is. But the, again, the best part about it is mm -hmm. she has the capability of mm -hmm. just having so much range. Mm -hmm. She can make ballads, she can make club songs, she can make every kind of thing, and so this it's, it's, it's girl is phenomenal. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Lumi, mm -hmm. other than you know working with Fully Focus, who else would you want to work with in the Kenyan industry mm -hmm. first? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the Kenyan industry right uh -huh. now, it has so many talented artists. Uh -huh. <laughs> a lot. But, okay, just to name a few. Uh -huh. Calligraph. Okay. Calligraph, because uh -huh. when I first, when I first started releasing music, mm -hmm. he actually sent me a DM. He was like, keep doing what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So, the first person that comes to mind is definitely mm -hmm. Calligraph. Mm -hmm. Yanni, mm -hmm. he's so dope right now. Yeah. Saudi soul. Obviously, uh -huh. everyone would like to have a song with Saudi soul. <laughs> yes. And it yeah. could actually happen. I know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> and Brandy the Minor connection well. is right here. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. And Brandy Minor, she's yes. an incredible song. Yeah. Right? So I would Those love are amazing her. people that, mm. you know, could take your music to the next level, yeah. you know, international and everything. Um, fully focused. How did you arrive at the selection of the people that you wanted to be? On your album yeah yeah um so i started actually this journey four or five years ago mm -hmm. and the thing that was uh, again I, i've always been uh, researching a lot of different, like not just what everyone else is playing, like mm -hmm. what is everyone missing, mm -hmm. what needs to be known about, you know, local yeah. music and mm -hmm. everything. And so I, I started reaching out to as many artists as possible who mm -hmm. I thought, okay, these are the right people. Mm -hmm. However, mm -hmm. I reached out to them after I had already supported them. Okay. Okay. This okay. is very important. Mm -hmm. Uh, every artist who's, who's, who's featured, I, I've, I've put their music on some of my past uh, major mm -hmm. laser mixtapes, mm -hmm. uh, you know, send it to, you know, other different countries and mm -hmm. everything. So when I'm reaching out to someone, I'm not asking them yeah. for something uh -huh. without giving first. Giving so first, a lot of people yeah. reach out so and like say, give me, give me, give exchange. me, give me. Uh -huh. But it's much easier to get when mm -hmm. you've already given somebody something. Mm -hmm. When you've supported someone, they feel, okay, you know what? Mm -hmm. I feel you believed in me before it was convenient for everyone else to believe in me. So I, 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 I respect the relationship. Yeah. Most people wait till someone blows up mm -hmm. until that's when they're starting supporting. No, look for the next people, people who have potential, people who could be every relationship I've ever had is because I supported people mm -hmm. before, whether it's WizKid, whether mm -hmm. it's, you know, like mm -hmm. I said, whether it's Major Laser, whether it's Akon, all these different people I've worked with, yeah. Sean Paul, is because it was before they blew up. Mm -hmm. And that's the time to support someone mm -hmm. when they're not getting views, it's, when they're not true, getting lights, when they're, mm -hmm. that, and someone remember you more yeah for that. and it's so unfortunate that we support people when they blow up yeah it's it's always you know it's it's human most human beings mm -hmm. are it's like followers it's mm -hmm. like when something is popular that's mm -hmm. when you do it yes but the problem with that is mm -hmm. you just become part of the crowd yeah right you stand out more when you do this so mm -hmm. all the artists who were featured on mm -hmm. I, I did not pay for a single feature mm -hmm. i don't pay anyone for it, it was basically 
based on relationships. Mm -hmm. Hey, and they believe in that kind of thing. And so, you know, yeah, so that's how, it, what it, that's how it was. And then we started, you know, working together and here we are now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, you know, we all, we're always talking about, you know, connections. You need to know this person. You need to know this person. Does that work the same in music? You need to know somebody for you to make a certain step. Well, other than in a few cases, like, you know, in your case, when you went to see him, you talked to him and you were able to make a connection. Does, does it work like that in music? Like, I need to know so-and-so. I need to know fully focus. I need to know Lumi. I need to know Bien. I need to know so-and-so so that I, I can I, make it. Yeah, music. so... So in the past, it mm -hmm. used to be you need those people for your music to mm -hmm. get heard. Mm -hmm. I think now it's more you need those people to understand how to navigate through the industry, mm -hmm. right? Because nowadays you can make music, put it out on YouTube, SoundCloud, whatever it is, on your own. You don't need anybody mm -hmm. to, you know, to validate your music to get out there. Yeah. But mm -hmm. it, it, it only makes sense to work with people who have already been in that those spaces to understand oh actually this is how you maximize on this this is how you're able to get this done and get this done and everything mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so i think networking is extremely important it has been very helpful for my you know my life and mm -hmm. everything mm -hmm. and again some of these people uh end up people who are working in certain levels end up running big organizations later on mm -hmm. that you could benefit from yes. right mm -hmm. that kind of thing mm -hmm. but again you know there's a principle that says follow the person not the position yeah right mm -hmm. so for instance right now you're you know you're host of whatever mm -hmm. this show mm -hmm. most people mm -hmm. if you left or got fired god forbid and everything mm -hmm. they'll try to follow <laughs> yes. i rebuke that mm -hmm. uh, they'll try to follow <laughs> the person who'll be sitting on that chair next yeah. as opposed to you the mm -hmm. individual who already believed and not knowing if you had the capability to get this position you can get that position anywhere you go mm -hmm. and so instead of following you and maintaining a relationship with you the individual mm -hmm. they're following the position yes. and so what i always try to do is follow the people mm -hmm. whoever the people are you believe in you start with mm -hmm. maintain those relationships wherever they go wherever they go mm -hmm. so that you're not a cloud chaser mm -hmm. you're not just trying to be there for just the opportunity yes. have loyalty uh -huh. yeah. have substance uh, that's true. you know loyalty uh -huh. exactly uh -huh. so. yeah so lumi you've been able to perform in stages where he is having his shows you know yeah. the pxps how how has that experience been for you honestly uh, uh my first performance mm -hmm. before pmg mm -hmm. i was definitely not ready it mm -hmm. was it was such a horrible experience <laughs> I, I, what I do you mean what happened i didn't like it uh -huh. like i my knees were shaky like it was just terrible yeah but then mm -hmm. performing to the songs that i've done with him mm -hmm. Uh, performing the songs that I've done with him, mm -hmm. it, it just feels natural. It feels nice. Like you're just vibing on stage. Yeah. You just, you know, with the crowd, mm -hmm. the crowd is, what? As it, it's just, it's, it's just nice. Yes. It's just nice. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's mm. not as nervous as. Yeah, right now I'm more time. confident. Uh -huh. as, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm a more confident performer. Yes, right that's yeah. nice. Mm -hmm. So, what's next for Lumi? Whoa. Uh, okay. First of all, we are waiting uh -huh. for those. Um, songs that you are working on mm -hmm. together, mm -hmm. yeah. Because then you know there are artists who do stuff together, and it's always a hit. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I feel like it's the same way with you two. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. So what's next? Yeah, hopefully this coming year, 2023, mm -hmm. we'll be able to release more songs because mm -hmm. we have worked on a lot of songs. Mm -hmm. Ziko, Zimeja, <laughs> catalog <laughs> Imeja. Yeah. <laughs> Imeja. <laughs> Album, EP. <laughs> Probably an album. Uh -huh. yeah. Mm. Uh -huh. yeah, hopefully. Okay. Yeah, let's wait and see. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so um, we are asking our audience back at home, you know, if your parent or guardian was offered five million shillings to watch your life as a movie, would you want them to take the money? <laughs> Say that again. If your guardian or your uh -huh. parent uh -huh. was offered five million shillings uh -huh. to watch your life as a movie, like they sit down, uh -huh. they see all the things that you've been doing, all the things that you've been, like a movie, like, yes. you know, it's a movie. Yes. 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 Would you want them to take that money? The, not only will they take it, they'll bootleg that movie. <laughs> <laughs> You know, wow. you know, <laughs> and, and the reason I'll say uh -huh, that is this. Uh -huh. my life has not been perfect. It's been full of ups and downs. Uh -huh. But, you know, the, the thing about it is I've learned that this thing is not, um, there's no destination. Uh -huh. It's a constant journey. Yeah. It's ups and downs. Mm -hmm. And the top of one hill is mm -hmm. the bottom of the next. Mm -hmm. And that's the joy of life. It's yeah. enjoying these moments. It's enjoying these different things, every stage and everywhere. Don't, mm -hmm. It's not just about, oh, mm -hmm. that place. Mm -hmm. You know, there's something mm -hmm. called destination happiness, mm -hmm. where you're thinking, 
I won't be happy until I get there. I get there. this, yeah. No, I mm -hmm. learned that, no, mm -hmm. uh, along the way, this is the, whatever it is. So mm -hmm. I'm very grateful for everything that's happened mm -hmm. with and for me. Mm -hmm. I think uh, my uh, folks would be, my mother would be okay with watching yes, that. Yes, there's, not, there's nothing embarrassing that you wouldn't want her to see. It's not caught on tape. <laughs> <laughs> no, we are cutting everything. Everything, like from... <laughs> everything. Uh -huh. I've, had, I've uh -huh. had some embarrassing moments. I've, I've been evicted from my place. Uh -huh. uh, you know, I've slept on floors. I've had, you know, moments where... You know, my bank accounts were closed because I couldn't be able to pay for anything. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, I've been fired from jobs. I've had jobs before where I was I was on sweeping the parking lot, uh, on cooking. I was a watchman. I've had all these moments. Yeah, I was a I was a makanga here at some point. Really? Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. So you know, so to at that stage it mm -hmm. felt embarrassing, mm -hmm. but I didn't no, know it was building nice. my character, mm -hmm. and it's I'm now proud to say it's part of my story it's true you see what yeah, i'm saying mm -hmm. if it was just those moments mm -hmm. you'd feel like oh the world is ending so anybody who may be down who've had some embarrassing moments who've had failures uh i put out i've put out projects where no one no one liked no one enjoyed and everything mm -hmm. i'll give you a quick story mm -hmm. For instance, a song like Dimension, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Dimension is getting amazing plays. Mm -hmm. uh, it was, it, you know, when I first released that song, after we finished with BN, mm -hmm. I used to go to clubs three, four nights, like uh, like three, four clubs in a night, mm -hmm. and go to the DJs and please play, please play. Even if the DJs know Wait, me. before Dimension? No, 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 no. Uh -huh. This is Dimension, May of this year, June of this year, July of this year. When we were done recording this song, I would go Friday, Saturday, Sunday to clubs, mm -hmm. three, four clubs, mm -hmm. to go to the DJ booth. Can you please play my song and everything? Even though these DJs know me, and of course most of them would, you know, oblige really? and everything. Yeah. But I was out there working it like that, uh -huh. going three, four, whatever it is. Even last night I was out promoting our song and everything okay. uh -huh. um, till four a.m. Uh -huh. You know, as I have shit, as I read, it. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Anyway, and then after that I would get on TikTok, make like five, six TikToks. Uh -huh. These TikToks was getting two views, one like that kind of thing and everything get you know do instagram reels and that kind of thing mm -hmm. but it was like trying to create any kind of momentum mm -hmm. because no one is going to come save me and no one is going to come help me sure. and even if you do a song with a big artist mm -hmm. they're more uh, uh their objective is to promote their music not yours not your music, so yeah. but they will respond based mm -hmm. on how much you are putting into mm -hmm. it That's true. and so and so when i was on tiktok mm -hmm. making tiktoks that no one is liking no one mm -hmm. is uh, whatever it is i also looked like a fool at that time mm -hmm. But fast forward to now, mm -hmm. it is the second song. It's actually the, this year on Apple Top 100, the longest charting Kenyan song on Apple Top 100, 100 music. Yeah. You know, this year, you mm -hmm. know, um, it, other than uh, the other song we did, um, you know, and everything. Mm -hmm. So my point in all that is to say this. Mm -hmm. When you're going through these moments where you're hustling and, and whether you have a, you know, like I said, like I'm watchman, makanga, whatever it is, doesn't matter. Or when you're putting out your content mm -hmm. and no one is liking and no one is viewing and no one is talking about it, mm -hmm. it may seem embarrassing, yeah. but keep going, keep going, keep That's going, true. keep going. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the end result will Stay show consistent. for itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Sorry, I went mm -hmm. off topic. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. I, I think that was important as well. Yeah. 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 Lumi, what about you? If... Your parents, your guardian was offered five million shillings would, to watch your life as a movie. Would you want them to take the money? <laughs> <laughs> okay, at first I'd have said no, 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 no. Uh -huh. no. But I'm sure, like, I'm sure the movie will be really long. Uh -huh. So at some point, at a dose. You know? <laughs> so you just hope at the point at a dose, those are the most embarrassing. <laughs> And apata just be too poor, you know. So yes, the good part. Yes, the good part. Yeah, acha chukue, tutagawan. Yes, tutagawan. And no questions after. Yeah. No, no, no questions after. Just to after. sign away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So thank you so much, guys, for coming through. I thank appreciate you so your time. Much. So maybe we can tell people in very few words where they can find the album and yes. more of your music and for Lumi as well. So we start with you, Lumi. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can find me on social media mm -hmm. at Lumi Music Ke. Aerial Instagram, Twitter, mm -hmm. TikTok. And yeah, uh, you can stream our music on all platforms. It's all available. Yeah, keep jamming. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, like she said, um, the album is called African Ambassador. Uh, it is available on all platforms right now. 
uh, everywhere. Apple, Spotify, YouTube, uh, Boomplay. Shout out to Boomplay who recently hit uh, uh, um, a million streams. I hit a million streams on Boomplay as an artist, uh, nice. producer and everything. So it's, on, it's available on all platforms. Please support it. Please, you know, share it with your friends mm -hmm. and everything. Make sure you support this amazing, amazing, amazing um, artist. She's going to be big. Yeah. Like I said, support her before she blows up. <laughs> True. Okay. Yeah. So, for, so for, for instance, mm -hmm. we will always, whatever you need from us, mm -hmm. we will always be here because you've Ooh. believed in us yay, before. Yay, yay. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So thank you so much for coming through. We do appreciate your time and we wish you all the best in your as you continue with your journey thank and you. as you go on to as well for thank PXP. You. I mean, thank you, thank you. Yes, yes. Th there's a lot coming yes, in yes. the month of yes, December, and, and right? shout out to everyone who's uh -huh. going to be in Diani for New Year's. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.